All right, so this is the very first telephone booth confessional. T-Town Tim Compound, otherwise known as the Sea Ranch. Those who know, know. You know. You were the B, I was the A, they got to C. I was at the A, I had to get to C, I didn't have a B. I'm at the fucking C, motherfuckers. What now, bitches? See a little bit of old T-Town come back. Fucking, spirit is fucking. My spirit is fucking. Fucking free. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Whew. There is a confessional. Fuck yeah. We talked about it. It was like, God, we're like we're in prison. I said, I've been in prison. You know, even the windows, you had to stand and look out. And here you can sit back in your chair and look out and see the whole world, man. <laughs> So you ever been on a prison bus? You can't even hardly see out. You gotta stand up and you're all fucking chained together and shit. It's fucked up. Or when you, fuck, it's just, it was like prison over there. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Whew. I finished the inside. I should give you a peek at it. I didn't have my camera today because I was thought I was shooting a movie, but I thought, fuck, I'm doing a telephone booth. Sure. So, boom, 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 boom. I'll have to get them <coughs> situated so I can get them anchored so the kids drop tip them over and shit get hurt. <coughs> Crazy. <coughs> underestimate the power of two kids. I remember four of us pushed a railroad boxcar on one of the kids. Sitting still. It was sitting fucking dead still on tracks by our house. We grew up by the tracks. You know, the other side. <laughs> For real. But, uh, we pushed that motherfucker. And we were always afraid that someone was going to get hurt. So we are always very, I was really aware. I even talked about it. Everybody very careful. You don't fuck be one of those kids in the newspaper. <laughs> Hey, did everybody have a friend, or were you the guy that burned a barn or a garage down? Growing up? Seems like either you were or you knew one. I knew a couple. Randy Barnes burned his uh, neighbor's barn down. Something like that. Out fucking. Fucking with fire. He was scared shitless, I remember that. You get arson fire, fucking hurt people and fucking probably just right on the right at a little kid. You know? I never burn anything down. Oh wait, take that back. We were kids and we let up a bomb, it didn't go off. It just fizzled, but it shot like a spark, like a shower of sparks. Guess where we lit it off? The old abandoned cedar mill. Guess what happened that night? It burned to the fucking ground. <laughs> Guess where we didn't go hang out anymore? The old abandoned cedar mill. I'm really all just kind of never talked about it. What do you guys want to do? I don't know anything but the cedar mill. We can go down and fucking play with the fucking go karts, or we can go down to the fucking gravel pit, or we can go to the fucking Cornwall Park. We always had some fucking, we had some terrain as kids, man. We had fucking brass and fucking creeks to fish in, and we were straight huck fin shit, for real, man. It was fun as fuck, man. Parents just let us fucking grow. Let us grow. Fuck. So thank you for coming by, man. I'm gonna cut this one short because I'm gonna be using their internet to shoot you. And I have to cut it, catch it in between people being at home. Be good to yourselves, man. Thank you so much for the help. Friday's coming, man, over visit.
Spencer, I'll see you guys. Take care of yourselves, man. Bye-bye.